Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, blessings, salutations Abu Muhammad, his entire household, and all his companions. May Allah bless them all. My brothers and my sisters, it's important to know no matter how much we try, we will never be able to do justice to the a greatest of creation, the most noble of all prophets, Muhammad peace be upon him, the chosen one by the Almighty God subhanahu wa ta'ala to the highest ranking of all creation. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was born in 571 AD. This name known the year of elephant. And Mecca was a place for pilgrimage before the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was born. All Arabs from all the tribes came to this place to perform, had to perform the pilgrimage. And Mecca itself was being home to many, a lot of idols, uh, uh, Arabs and a lot of tribes, uh, the most of tribes worship not one God, but idols. The Kaaba, the Holy Kaaba, was there 316 idols representing various deities and for your information Kaaba was built by Abraham peace be upon him of whom Muhammad peace be upon him was a descendant the Kaaba as a metaphorical house to the one of true God in the year was Muhammad peace be upon him born in it happened in the great story. This story called the story of the field, story of elephant. Uh, do you know a lot of information about this story? That's what we're going to talk about it in this episode. Please wait me after the short break. Welcome to you again. Al Yemen was conquered from Abyssinia. A country from Africa was conquered this city uh, before. Abraha al Habashi was vice regent there. This city following Abyssinia. Abraha noticed later a lot of people, a large people from Al Yemen, from uh, Arabia, comes to the Mecca to perform Al Hajj to perform for to visit Mecca to perform al Hajj to visit al Kaaba, and he asked the reason for this. He was told because Arabs must to perform pilgrimage every year. Uh, so Abraha hated this idea, being Mecca very important to his own, to his country Al Yaman. So he decided to build a church from. God, his doors, this is a church, his doors from God and silver, and he made it a beautiful. So he ordered the people to visit this church instead of the Kaaba, and no one obeyed him. And it was said some people of Arab visit this church and throw it in trash. So, uh, for these reasons, Abraham decided to destroy the Kaaba and he prepared uh, huge armies uh, uh, with camels, with uh, elephants, with horses and he decided to destroy the Kaaba and set out from, from Mecca. When the Arabs know that Abraha comes to destroy the Kaaba, they became frightened and they went to the mountains and they couldn't not fight the Abraha and his armies. But the question, how could they let him destroy the Kaaba, the holy Kaaba, the holy place of their fathers? So they went to Abdul Muttalib, their leader, to ask his advice. Abdul Muttalib, when Abraha came to Mecca, he went to uh, meet Abraha. When Abraha met Abdul Muttalib, he said, what do you want? Abdul Muttalib said, I want my camels because Abraha, when he came to Mecca, he found some of grazing and he catched some camels. These camels 
it belongs to uh, Abdul Muttalib. So when Abraha said to Abdul Muttalib, what do you want? Abdul Muttalib said, I want my camels. Abraha surprised, very, very surprised. And he said, I have came to destroy the Kaaba, the place of your fathers, and you asked me some camels. Abdul Muttalib replied, I have these camels. These camels belong to me. And this house and the Kaaba belongs to Allah, and he protected protect this house, and he protected it. Uh, so uh, Abdul Muttalib taking some camels belongs to him, and uh, he went to Quraysh, and he ordered to him to go to the mountains and wait their enemies there. In the morning, Abraha prepared to enter the city, and he put armor on elephants and drew up his troops for battle. When the soldiers came and mo moved to this city, the huge elephant of the group of elephants didn't move and he built down. The soldiers tried to get in uh, across a by or by beating it. So he didn't move the direction of Kaaba. But when they returned it, when they uh, turn, turned its face from uh, Al Yemen, he got up and uh, start, start off. When they returned it to the direction of Kaaba, he didn't, it didn't move in it. Uh, suddenly, some of flocks from overseas there and from all directions came with the bird carried three stones and throw these stones from Abraha's army. And suddenly the most of soldiers feel ill. Abraha himself, some stones filled it and he came to the uh, Al Yemen and he did there. On seeing their enemy flee, the Arab came down from the mountains and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this accident gained the Arabs a lot of respect. So they known after that the people of Allah. This year, uh, Prophet Muhammad BSP upon him was born in it, equal 571 AD. So the whole Quran mentioned to this accident, to this story across chapter Al Fil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the whole Quran. ألم ترى كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول Have you not considered O Muhammad how your Lord dealt with companions of the elephant Did he not make their plain into misguidance and sent against them birds of flock, striking them with stones of hard clay, and he made them like eating straw. Okay, my friends, I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a good fun. Thank you for watching, and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.